Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. This is going to be a tutorial on Google Maps with Autocomplete. Now uh, the functionality of Autocomplete can be done with Google Maps search. So over here I have a Google Map and uh, I have an input box over here and I can type in or I can search for locations on Google Map. So if I search for my hometown over here um, I get the suggestions. That is two suggestions. One is in Japan and one is in India. So I click on India and it, it will give me a mark over here now again another I type in another place which is near to my hometown um, it will give me all the suggestions and then I click on it um, it will give another marker at the same time I can get the latitude and longitude of the first and the second marker that I've placed so basically what we are doing over here is we are typing some locations over here we are t typing some locations A, B, C over here and it will give um, I mean it will send this particular data to Google server and Google will give us um, recommendations or suggestions and we are listing that suggestion as uh, as 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 um, as um, in, in, in ULLI as autocomplete so this functionality of Google is what is called as um, geocode that means if you give a, a name of a particular place you get um, you get the latitude and longitude of that particular place and then with that latitude and longitude you mark uh, markers on Google Maps okay now this is one use of geocode um, another use of uh, geocode is that say if you have a latitude and la latitude and longitude and you want to get the name of the place um, you could do the same thing and get the name of the place um, you know you could get the name of the place from the latitude and longitude so what we use over here is geocode okay now uh, we'll get into the code um, the code is um, it's, it, it, it's not that simple but definitely uh, you know I'll, 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 I'll be moving uh, step by step and I'll be explaining every step so it won't be that difficult but then if you have not done if you have not uh, if you don't know what are the basics of Google Maps I would highly recommend you to have a look into my previous um, tutorials now over here what you have is, uh, is, is Google Maps um, autocomplete uh, autocomplete is actually a plugin that is available with jQuery uh, UI um, you can um, download it from jQuery UI I'll give the URL um, at the bottom of the video um, so that's it um, we'll get started with the code now the first thing that we want to do is get map rendered into this particular map canvas so for that purpose I have um, the script uh, which will get a uh, Google Maps um, library onto my onto my onto my um, onto my uh, page the next thing is uh, another script which will get a jQuery um, UI uh, and another script which will add jQuery library into my into my um, page so the next thing is um, I need to style uh, my um, autocomplete um, so over here I have a link to a style sheet okay that's it um, with that said we'll get started with um, actual Google Maps now over here I have a body um, and this uh, on load of body I'm calling a function called initialize so I'm gonna type in a function initialize now this function is actually responsible for initializing Google Maps onto the div called map canvas now I'll be going a little little bit fast at this particular point because we have already discussed um, all these things in my previous tutorials okay now uh, okay uh, I'm going to create a variable called lat long um, my lat long lat log okay and then over here I'm going to type in new google dot maps dot lat long um, I mean you don't have to give lat long lng um, this is uh, the function I mean this will uh, tell Google Maps that I want to locate uh, I want to have a latitude and longitude and I pass it latitude and longitude over here um, and I, I what I'm basically doing with this line of code is that I'm telling Google Maps this is a latitude and longitude and I'm assigning that particular latitude and, latitude and longitude this, to this particular variable over here. Now the next thing is I want to create an array called my options. Okay. Now this array uh, will hold what kind of whole data 
um, related to what kind of a map I want so I want uh, my map to have a zoom level um, something around 8 and I want um, the center of the map to be this particular latitude and longitude and I also want um, map type Oops, it should be camel case map type um, ID to be um, the road map map type ID is nothing but the kind of map you want I mean if you want a, a satellite view then um, you can define that if you want to have something like a road map um, you can define that over here so I mean Okay, now what I've done over here is I've simply defined a variable a key called map type and this will um, it tell Google that what are the, the kind of map that I want is actually Google map um, is road type okay uh, now uh, over here I'm going to create another variable um, which is called map okay and this will actually tell Google that I want to render Google Maps Google dot maps dot map and then over here I type in document uh, dot get element by ID and then I'm I'm going to tell I want to place map inside the variable inside the ID called uh, map canvas and then I want map to be something like this. I place this variable over here and uh, this will render Google Maps on the ID of map canvas okay okay now um, I think everything is right we'll save this and go to Firefox and open the page and we'll see if everything is working it seems like I've ha I have an error okay autocomplete is not a function Oops. <laughs> I'll clear this and I'll, I'll just check what exactly is the error I mean I just created a okay I'll refresh the page and I still don't have a Google map Okay, now over here, if you look closely over here, get element by that issue. Okay, now uh, get element by ID is not a function. Okay, now I have a Google Map rendered onto uh, onto the uh, onto the you know like the div called Map Canvas, and I have uh, I need to get uh, an input box over here, and which will uh, uh, which from which um, I can um, through which I can give a uh, data I mean input type equals type equals text and then um, name the time being I'll give it as autocomplete auto and then ID is going to be autocomplete auto complete okay I'll just close this and go back to Firefox refresh my page yeah, I have uh, autocomplete over here. Okay, now the next thing that I want to do is uh, write the function for autocomplete. But okay, now if you look into this particular variable over here, this uh, this is a variable or this is an object that will hold Google Maps. But if I write a function over here, say function ABC over here which will hold Google um, I mean which uh, if I write a function over here say I, I, I have to write a function ABC over here I won't and I call maps I call maps I won't be getting this variable inside this function because the scope of this particular variable is not there inside this particular function so over here what I have to do is 
I need to make this map global so I just delete this variable var over here and I type in var map and so what I'm doing over here is I'm declaring this variable outside this function and then upgrading this variable with this object so since this variable is actually declared outside the function this variable will be available to this particular function also so instead of this particular function what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in document dot ready and then inside this we'll give a function okay now over here I can write mm, use jQuery autocomplete and give the auto um, get autocomplete suggestions okay um, so basically what I want to do is you know check if somebody has entered um, a data into this particular div of ID autocomplete and give autocomplete um, So, as usual, um, we just call autocomplete, and we are not, we are going to pass certain parameters. Now, autocomplete has two parts mainly. The first part is source, and that's a function that will execute a function, and then, and the second part is going to be the the second part is going to be the select and this is always going to be another function and then over here okay now what basically these two things does is source is is the one that you know tells where am I going to get fetch the data from and select is a function that get executed when you select the autocomplete request I mean when you click on okay we'll go back to this particular thing okay now when I type in say ABC over here okay this is the this is actually sending a request so to Google server and that request is actually handled by source and when I click on this particular suggestion over here that click function is actually handled by the select I mean uh, I, I don't know I, I don't know how, my, how, uh, how much clear I am but then I, I, I hope it's clear so I'm just moving forward now the source part has two parameters the first parameter is called the request and the second parameter is called the response okay now the request is the one that okay now when I open this page and then I refer um, I type in something over here um, this is actually a request being sent to um, sent to the Google server so that request is the one that I get over here and the response is the response that Google server Google Maps give us so yeah yeah that's it um, so we want to get this data the one that I type over here from this variable so I'm just going to type in alert this variable over here okay and I'll go back to the page that uh, we are working on then I type in H I get object object which means this request is actually an object now the object request has a key called item okay now I just alert this okay now I type in H A I get undefined okay now the object is actually not item it is called sorry it's not item it's called term I'm really sorry it's, it's not item it's called term okay now I just type um, you know some kind of a um, location over here say I type in H and gives me H I type in A it gives me A so whatever I type inside this particular input box I'm able to get that particular thing over here as request dot term now what we have to do now is send this request dot term to Google server or Google map server and get the data corresponding to this request 
that we made. So the way that we are going to do uh, that is using geocode as it said earlier I'm not sure if I said it earlier but we are going to use something called geocode okay now um, we'll just um, t code that geocode okay dot geocode I mean this could you know sound weird uh, but then just follow the things I mean um, this should work geocode dot geocode is a way that we call um, this particular thing that is uh, uh, you know send request to Google server but then you can't simply call type in geocode over here because we have not defined anything called geocode so what you have to do is first define a variable called geocode now this variable uh, the reason why I've um, created geocode over here is that this is kind of a global function a global variable now you can you can access this global variable variable in any of the functions over here but this is just a, a variable it's not an object um, you can call this variable geocode or you can uh, send data um, to Google server when this ge variable geocode becomes actually an object of, of, of actual geocode from Google Maps so over here inside this initialize function where we initialize map we initialize one more thing that is geocode okay I mean yep um, so this is the way we initialize geocode we tell Google Maps that we want to initialize um, geocode in this way okay now what we have over here is we have initialized geocode and this geocode since it has already been declared over here as global will also be getting it over here okay so 